All right, good morning, everybody from California. Um, and today, this is uh, first video that I'm putting on YouTube um, because of uh, some posts that I've seen on some pictures I've seen that encouraged me to build a retro console shelf. I'm gonna go over some supplies that I got that I'm gonna be using to build it. And um, give credit to some of the people that gave me some of the ideas to build this and go through each piece that I got. So here we go. All right, so first things first, I got two of these uh, power supplies right here. Let me open this up so you can see a little better. There's this one, this is the PS92U. This has nine switches on it. As you can see, you can see them pretty clear. Um, nine switches on it, and it has a charge port on it, USB, which is nice. I haven't used this thing yet, so that's the reason why the plastic's still on. I'm getting all my supplies together before I do anything. This is the, the same thing as that one. The only difference is this is the PS9U. This is their updated model. As you can see, the buttons are a different color blue, which I'm, I'm not happy with, but I'll be okay. Uh, compared to this one, this where the buttons are darker. These ones are a lot brighter too. I already plugged it in to see how bright it is. These are a little more, they're not as blue of a light. But um, and this also has the USB charge. But this one, what's nice about this one is this actually has mounting brackets. Uh, for let me see if I can find here, and right here. So the PS92U does not see. Um, this one actually has little mounting points on the side here, as you can see right there. See, so kind of take it with these. Okay. This one does not even have it. Doesn't even come with hinges. So I called the company and they said that they could send me the hinges. Sure. But it's gonna cost me three dollars and then ten ninety five to send it out, which was horrible in my opinion. So I'll figure out a way to make it my own. So okay, so the next thing I got is these extension cables. Um, I picked up two boxes of these. All the stuff I got from Amazon. So I picked up two boxes of these, um, and all they are is this, right? So you don't have wasted space when you plug in your bricks to like your Super Nintendo, Nintendo, and all that good stuff. So it doesn't take up three spots, it only takes one. So I'm also is gonna help with heat too. Um, I have another one of these coming today. I'm gonna send this to arrive today. This is a five port HDMI 1080p, um, 480, blah, 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 3D uh, HDMI switch. It comes with a remote. I'm not gonna use the remotes though, but I'm gonna use it manually. See the little switch button right there. Focuses in switch button right there but I haven't used it yet so the lights are blue on it too which is nice that's what I'm going for um, and then I also got a AV switch auto video switch this is a port one pretty simple setup on it there's one set of out which is good when you not separate I've seen those um, this has eight video uh, switches on it as you can see again no mounting brackets I'll have to figure that out this one doesn't have mountain brackets too. So if any of you guys have any ideas, please feel free to post by I'm probably gonna fabricating some myself. All right, so next thing I got is 16-bit um, retro. He used Christmas lights for his, which was really nice, looks nice. Used next to no power, so it's good. Uh, props to him, he's the one that uh, has one of the be better console setups that I've seen. So, but I wanna outdo him, no offense, but uh, it's just, I am. Um, these are my Simplight LED waterproof um, LED lights that I received yesterday. I turned them on, they're really bright, they're pretty nice. Um, this is the power cable. N nice thing about this so far, this, the super bright lights, the power switches, both of them, they use basically a computer monitor cable. It's a pretty basic cam uh, cable, standard. So I'm going to be using that for a good portion of this stuff. So. Um, for this, these are, I can trim them down so it's uh, every three lights that gets uh, cut and put them in there. So I'll probably end up doing six. This is 300 lights more than I need, which is good. Um, these are the connectors that I'm going to be using for these. Let me set this down and I'll open up one of these and I'll show you. Uh, let's see if I use this lamp against. Alright, so let's see here. Alright, can you see me? Okay, so these are the connectors that I was just showing you. Alright, um, this is the one I opened up yesterday. I didn't look like it, but I did open up. I need to get that space out of there anyways. Alright, so these are pretty cool. Um, yeah, I'm going to pull one of these out. 
what it is it's just a cable it has the the little fasteners inside here so as you can see this one's kind of a little tweaked right there that's okay though but it has the four colors the black the green the red the blue and what you do with these to in order to get them to work is you look for the side that has a little opening which it's right here you can actually kind of tell pretty easy hopefully you guys are seeing the focus on there's a little line right here all you do is you can actually pop open both sides so i'll pop them both open so you can see uh, both ends do the same thing so it has these little things and when you cut these leds you just slide them in and there's little brackets right there that will clasp down and hold it down on the other side you'll see a pretty good example of it so kind of the same thing see it's like that this one's uh, the side that has the cable on that comes with it so yeah it's pretty cool i turn on these lights there's a lot of options on there um i guess you can get the blue red ones which um the blue red uh cables um but if you got the ones with the multiple colors the rgb colors you want to get something like this so i turned on yesterday it's pretty nice so far so put this back in the package and started building it this year i'm getting all my supplies together first so also i picked up some extra wire um this wire is just literally just, uh, 20 feet of wire as you can see the color um and put them connect them to these um to where i could put the lights up accordingly where i think they're gonna look nice at so i'm also gonna get some track lights of some sort to give the ambience light that i want so i've been doing a lot of research on it so oops sorry about the noise all right and last but not least this is one of my favorite ones i'm pretty stoked to um to get taken care of this is what's going to be keeping everything cool i didn't know anything like this existed my biggest thing is i didn't want something that um uh, that has to be hooked up through uh, splicing and dicing wires, like kind of like a computer fan, due to little ports, just kind of like kind of like these, um, but like basically to a computer power supply. I didn't want nothing like that, and so I did some research, and apparently they make Airplates cabin fan systems. This thing is pretty amazing. I got basically the best one on there because uh, you'll see the reason why. Um, I wanted to get something that had, has its own um, thermostat or temperature control unit on it. Uh, so I got this one. This is pretty nice. Um, this is the fan. It's pretty big. As you can see, it's super quiet. And then right here is the little, uh, uh, the little display. And if you look at this, what I like about this is that little guy right there. That's the uh, thermometer, basically. So I can set it to auto and it will automatically cool the cabin. So all, the, all the power is going to be coming through this cabin. It's basically. Um, so yeah, that's how that's going to be done. Um, pretty nice too. It's, it's blue also. So it's super sleek, quiet. The fan's really not obnoxiously loud. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty, pretty excited about that. So that's the supplies for my electrical portion of my console cabinet that I got so far my other stuff started such as the wood and that kind of stuff which I should be picked up today or tomorrow I uh, I'll probably get started on it um, I'll go through the tools I'll also go through um, the construction portion of it and I'll walk you through what I do also to a stain and the tools and everything that I use so again if you plan on doing something like this um, a lot of people I've seen on there, Ret uh, 16 bit retro was one of the biggest ones that I've seen that had the best one that I've seen first. Um, with this nice cabinet, uh, I'm going to do better than that to retro, but um, uh, he, uh, some of the other people were using uh, these uh, PS92Us and also um, the, the AV Switch, which is where I got the idea from. I'll give credit to them once I look up their site and get their names. So. But uh, again, this is my setup, just how I'm going to do it. So thank you. Bye. -bye.